Hi everyone, this is Debbie Sek from Dominical Surf School. Since we're all stuck at home, or at least most of us, I came up with a series of very simple and helpful exercises that will help you and me to stay fit for whenever we are able to go hit the waves again. For today's workout, we're gonna start with a warm up, just as if we were gonna go surfing. And then we will continue with a small circuit, a series of about six exercises that will focus on the main muscle groups that we're gonna be using for surfing. So, let's get on it. My suggestion is if you can leave your house for exercise, then go for a quick run. If you cannot leave your house for any type of exercise, I'm gonna show you quickly what you can do to warm up at home. So, let's get started. All right, so we got the blood flowing, we got a little run on the beach, and now we're just gonna loosen up those muscles that we're gonna be working on. And this is the same practice we do right before we hit the wave. So let's just start with our head. Let's count together to five each time. One, two, three, four, five. Side to side. One, two, three, four, five. Arms. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Same concept, but small circles. One, two, three, four, five. The other way. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do the hips. One, two, three, four, five, other side. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go to the knees. One, two, three, four, five, other side. One, two, three, four, five. Ankles, we're almost there. One, two, three, four, five. The way around, one, two, three, four, five. Same thing here, guys, it's super important that you warm up your ankles and your knees because a lot of times when people are learning to surf, they just jump off their board like this and all of this gets pretty hurt. So it's important that you make sure that it's stretched and warm up and obviously be careful when you're gonna jump off the board so you don't suffer the most common injuries that we see on beginners that it's like jumping with your knees straight with your legs straight and hurting yourself so now we're gonna get into our circuit exercise number one is going to be a pop-up push-up what we want to achieve with this pop-up push-up is obviously we want to get stronger in our hands and our arms but we also want to create a little bit of muscle memory so this is not going to be like a jumping squat we're going to jump into a surfing position so that's going to help you to have better surfing stance when you go on the water and obviously to have a stronger uh, pushes to get up on the board Alrighty, guys so for the pop-up push-up we need to make sure that your that our hands are next to our chest just as we as we would do if we're pushing up on the surfboard if your hands are higher then you're going to tend to go on your knees so obviously you want to create a good habit of already popping from the right spot so that will be here what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a push-up and we're going to jump into a surfing position what this is going to do is going to help us to have good stance and to create that muscle memory so when we get to the beach if you have like a wobbly stand or if you have too narrow of a stand or too wide of a stand by doing this exercise it's going to get you stronger for pushing but it's also going to help you to achieve a better position on the on the surfboard want to make sure that your chest is up make sure you're not arching your chest while you're performing this exercise find your center of gravity too okay alrighty guys the second exercise is balance uh, lunges 
and uh, I'm gonna do it like this so you can see it and then I'll go into my normal position. So basically what you wanna be doing is you wanna come, bring one foot forward, your knee almost to the ground, but not, don't hit it on the ground, keep it up. Put your hands together or your fingers together, stretch out your arm and follow that until the end, bring it back, come up and switch legs. And again, towards the other side. The third exercise, guys, it's gonna be the Superman. And this exercise, it's super important because when you guys come to surf, especially if you're seasonal surfers or first timers, when you come and lay down on the surfboard, most people who's learning, they tend to do this and they paddle like this. And when you surf, you gotta make sure that you keep all that balance in your core. So you wanna make sure that if we ask you to do this, that you should be able to do it. Obviously, it's not as easy as it seems. So today we're gonna to work out on the Superman abs because that's gonna help you to strengthen that lower back area so you can keep your chin up, so you can paddle better. And also so that if there's surfers coming in any of the ways, you're able to, to be able to look at this. So let's get on it. The next exercise is gonna be uh, for your rotators and your shoulders. And it's gonna be those muscles that burn the most when you start doing all that paddling. So you can use the small weights if you have a home. And if you don't have a home, you can use big bottles of shampoo, of milk. I didn't have two big bottles of anything, so I have two bottles of milk. I'm gonna show you how to do it with this. And basically what you want to do, and I know like when you are working out a lot, you're going to laugh of this, but you're going to feel it too. So you want to make sure that your back is straight. You want to do a little bit of an inclination on your knees, so maybe like this. So you can do one at a time, just as if you were paddling. And you're going to hold this movement for 30 seconds. Just keep on going. And I guarantee you that after all those workouts you've been doing, you're gonna feel those 30 seconds. Our next exercise is the plank. The plank is gonna help you to also strengthen the core, mostly on the front part, and you're also gonna feel it on your upper body. So let's get on it. So now we're gonna do some regular common apps. And of course, that's just gonna work on the core. Um, so we already had some arms exercise, some rotators, some lunges for the legs. The core is one of the muscles that we want to strengthen the most because the core is, it's your core. It keeps you balanced on the surfboard. It's gonna help you when you need to paddle. It's gonna help you when you need to pop up and it's gonna help you while you're standing to give you that balance and keep you solid and grounded. So it's really important that you work on your core. So here we go. So that was it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the workout, I surely did. And in the meantime, I wish you guys well. I hope you stay healthy, stay home for sure, and stay fit. See you next time.